Oh my goodness. You want a cricket? Oh yeah, there we go. So, it's feeding day for your reptiles and tarantulas. You head over to the pet shop to buy some crickets and you approach the guy and be like, Hi, can I get some crickets? And then the guy will come and pack your crickets for you. So you bring them back and no, you don't want to just toss these into your animals for them to eat because you want to gut load them. So what you want to do is grab a bucket or a, oh, by the way, this is my pet tiger. Had him since I'm three years old. So this is my previous batch of crickets that died. I want to wash them up because, you know, germs. So kill those dead crickets. Die, dead crickets. Die. <laughs> and then you just want to pour these out. Don't ask me why there's a toilet outside. I just have one. Put some detergent and give it a quick scrub. Don't use your mother's sponge, the one from the kitchen, because she will kill you guys. She will. Give it a nice scrub to get rid of all the grime and dirt and pour it back into the toilet because that's the way we do it. Now you want to <laughs> um, wipe everything down dry, take a paper towel and just wipe it as dry as you can. Fully dry, preferable because these crickets are just dumb. They can drown in almost any puddle of water. One centimeter of water, they drown. So put a piece of egg crate in if they're too big, cut it in half toss in your crickets and let them explore their new enclosure. Oh, there's a dead cricket. Dude, you okay, man? Oh, you're not dead. Get off! <laughs> now you want to get rid of this uh, newspaper because you don't know what germs have been in here. It's been in pet shop. Put them together with your other rubbish. And we're gonna feed the crickets now. Get some dog kibble or cat or fish food, whatever you want, dried food, and just put it at the side. Well, this is what I do. You don't have to do this. And look at them, they are slowly all coming to the food. Like, they have excellent smell senses. I don't know how they smell. It's barely even been a minute and they're all here. What I do is also open the fridge and go through what I have in here. So let's see. Ah, there we go. So that's an overripe banana that we didn't eat. So I usually open these vegetable slots and see what vegetables there are. Oh, check it out. We have got some carrots! Don't tell my mom because she cooks them. Oh wait, what? There's roots and a leaf coming out of the carrot. Yeah, this is what my fridge looks like, guys. Vegetables are not... <laughs> what can I say? Gotta get restock. Oh, by the way, this is a really wrinkled orange because, yeah, we don't... We just buy oranges and we don't eat them. I don't know why. There's more carrots and... What is this? I'm not quite sure what this is. Interesting, but not for the crickets. So here's the orange, the carrot and the banana, and what you want to do is not toss them in, you want to cut them up first. So this is what a carrot looks like on the inside. If you were wondering for some reason, I don't know. <laughs> so I'll put it in together with the crickets, let them have a feast. Same thing I did with the bananas. Cut them in half. And you guys want to see what a banana looks like inside? There you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm just weird. Don't mind me. Anyways, let's put the bananas together with the crickets and the carrots and let them choose what they want. You thought that was a full orange, didn't you? <laughs> it's half an orange. I cut it in half because how do you expect cricket to bite through this thick skin? But yeah, let's put it in. That's a great source of vitamin C. Look at that, there's already one craving for vitamin C, or oh, never mind, it's going for the potassium in the banana. Okay, now you don't want your banana, huh? Okay, fine. Make up your mind. Look at these guys. They look so creepy. Like, I don't like crickets at all because of how they look, but I gotta deal with them because I'm keeping insectivore animals. Hmm. This guy, however, is just sitting alone, isolating himself because, yeah. Sharing is not what they do. Dude, you want to get some moisture? Go, go, go. Get your carrot. There you go. You're welcome. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Gotta get that hydration because the pet shop doesn't really give them anything to hydrate. So these guys, they'll benefit a lot from these juicy fruit and vegetables. Look at this guy. Also loving... Okay, fine. Don't eat your carrot. When I mention you, you walk away. Then we've got our potassium eater over here. Oh yeah, that sack of orange. Let's just take it in like that. Because 
orange juice is tasty guys I love orange juice so I'm gonna put these guys at the corner here and let them gut load themselves I'm gonna leave them here for about 24 hours and that should be that should be good I'll come back tomorrow and we'll be able to feed them now you want to grab your trash because it's not cool living trash lying around and of course put them in the bin because that's what we civilized people do this is where I cut the vegetable and the fruits and yeah you may notice this knife very familiar knife I've used it in a couple unboxings also known as the overkill knife yep oh wait I just noticed I have some honeydew so this will have some additional extra nutrition for the cricket so let's go guys here grab your honeydew it's really sweet now yeah, I'll put it over here because these guys are oh, wow straight away you left the carrot and went for the honeydew wow this guy going for the honeydew I can tell watch this guys it's going and there we go he's got his honeydew loving his honeydew we have another honeydew eater over here so yeah I guess we'll just leave them be and let them gut load the next day so after about 24 hours you should get crickets that are fully gut loaded and just fat like look at some of them they are just massive usually it's recommended to take out all the fruits and vegetables after 12 hours otherwise they'll get nasty like this but well it doesn't really matter if you're feeding your cricket straight away but if you come across mold then you got to change them out so once they've been gut loaded well you just get your tongs and capture one like this bring it over to your animal whoa whoa what's gonna happen oh there we go beautiful had to take another cricket because that one, the first one, is just down there. Here's another guy who loves crickets. It's Elvarg. You want some crickets, boy? You want some crickets? Let's find one suitable for you. This one. You dude. You want a cricket? You want a cricket? Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> awesome. Here, we've got another one. Do you want it? You want it? Yeah, you do. Oh no 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 no. Look at that happy face. Good nutrition, Elvark. Good nutrition. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Man, he loves his crickets. Whoop whoop! You gotta work for it. You gotta work for it. Come on. There we go. Yum. He loves them so much. I wonder how a cricket tastes like. I mean, I'm not gonna eat one, but. I really wonder how it tastes like because he loves crickets. Do you want another one? <laughs> what was that? What was that? You didn't even try. Dude, you dropped a leg. You dropped a leg. Do you not want the leg? Oh, this one's fat. Look at that, guys. Look at all those guts that are in there. You would like this one. Here. You want this. You want this? This is delicious. It's fat. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Ugh. What are you doing? <laughs> Have you had enough? You had enough? You see, when it's full, he closes his eyes, so that's his way of telling you that, yeah, get that cricket away from my face. See? Earlier he was so excited to see the cricket, but now he just closes his eyes, so that tells me that he is done. This is my albino snake head. Let's see him eat a cricket. Here he comes. Oh, there we go. By the way, the water is not dirty. It is these leaves that I use. When you put these leaves into water, it releases tannin, so it darkens the color of the water, which is what these snakehead fishes like. You see, there's a piece of leaf in there, and these snakeheads like shallow water, so this is like the perfect way to house this guy. What feeding video on this channel would be complete without a tarantula? So this is my dark earth tiger. Some of you have been asking how she is. Well, how are you, girl? 
think you are fine. Yep, she is fine. Fine. So I'm gonna choose a cricket. This one looks juicy. And then let's see how she hunts up. I'm gonna throw this cricket behind there and hopefully she'll go and grab it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Girl, I'm not the cricket, okay? The cricket is over there. You wanna go get it? I I'm really scared to put the tongs there because she may just bite the tongs instead. Oh wait, no, no, no. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. The cricket was barely moving. That is how sensitive the hairs on their feet are to detect prey. Slight movement and she just pounces on it. Why did you let the cricket go? Oh my goodness. Why would you do that to me? This is why I said I was scared to do it. So here's the cricket. You wanna like, oh my gosh, girl. Why do you do this to me? Oh great, the cricket just Okay, that was a fun feeding video, wasn't it? Just a short one and well, she gave you guys what you guys usually want feeding videos to be. Well, no more interacting with tarantulas today. The tarantula you guys have been asking me how she is. This is the Hapopelma Cyropagopus minex, Thailand black. And as you can see, she's back to her old self again hunting down food. Oh, remember we tossed in the honeydew? Look at how small it has become. These crickets love honeydew. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyways, this will be the last tea we'll be feeding in this video. This is the Pamphopetias platyoma, the Brazilian, oh my gosh, the Brazilian pink bloom. Look at those pinkish purpley legs. Beautiful, guys, just beautiful. So that will be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is how I prepare food for my tarantulas as well as my other pets. It's very, very important to gut load your feeder insects because especially crickets, when you buy them from the pet store, they are not really fed. So there's pretty much nothing in them. You, you know the saying, what you eat is what you, wait, wait, no. What you are is what you eat, not what you eat is what you are. <laughs> Usually if I have any other stuff in the fridge, if I have more vegetables and fruits, I'll just throw it in so there's like more variety and more vitamins and all the good stuff in the crickets. But unfortunately today I only had bananas, orange, carrot and that little honeydew. You will have some dead crickets because crickets are like, I don't know, they just don't live very long. And that's one reason why I just hate crickets. But when you're keeping these animals, you don't really have a choice unless you want to breed roaches, which I used to. I don't anymore, but yeah, crickets are the way to go for me now.